guys, Ginger Cook here. Welcome to Acrylic Painting Mondays, and we're going to be painting uh, two little birds today, little hummingbirds, and we're going to be talking about an artist called Martin Head, who's an American artist, lived in Florida, and um, in the 1800s, was one of our old ODGs, our old dead, dead artists, old dead guys, you know, we're going to talk, because this is one of his paintings we're going to be doing, plus we've got some fantastic giveaways, and more auction news, and stay tuned, because this is going to be a great show. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes, the queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. Ginger, we are back live and in person. Yeah, I want to thank everybody who joined us last Friday for our marathon uh, auction, which was um, started at 4 in the afternoon and ended up at 11 o'clock our time. Lots of painting. I think we took two breaks, did uh, 12 paintings, didn't we? 11 or 12? Uh, that, we got 11 done, and then we added, we added two more. We'll tell you what those were, and I also filmed those. And they will be in, and uh, and did a tutorial on those the next day. I know it's hard to believe, isn't it? And then we, <laughs> and they'll be in our uh, beginner and senior in. Uh, uh, It'll be posted in the beginneracrylicartist.com website for the basic supporters and above. And above, everybody will get that those two lessons, and we'll yep. release those at some point. Just as we have time, they'll get released. All right. Yep. As we Not, get there. We don't know when, but they'll be released. Listen. They're filmed. But they have to be edited their film. And I have a surprise for you tonight. Oh, I love surprises. Okay, um, I told you we are going to do a painting giveaway, but because of the seasons coming up so close, I thought it might be fun to um, give away a couple of these. This is, these were our Halloween, um, well, Halloween, Halloween paintings. Some Halloween paintings. Look at that. See? I love that one. These are, these are our Halloween. I think at some point, years ago, these were tutorials. We don't have them anymore. We have the pumpkin catch... Patch oh, that's kids. back when we first started off when we were yeah. painting for children. We were painting for children. So we have these, and we're going to give away two of those, these tonight, and um, maybe even three. We have this one, too. Isn't this fun? I'm going to give away that one. And then I've got, um, the next week we have a few more we'll, we'll do. So we're going to stay with the Halloween theme. And so while we're not giving away the birds tonight, we do have three original paintings we are going to be giving away, and plus a set of Salvador paints, uh, uh, courtesy of the Salvador Paint Company, and you've got the tw um, 24 colors plus the 12 brushes and a sponge and a palette knife, so all neat kind of stuff and a little um, palette and everything. These are wonderful, and uh, you'll see on our YouTube show that I, when I'm doing small paintings, I use these a lot, and we, of course you saw the, if you stayed with us, with our marathon, you saw that um, Boy, I didn't have to. Uh, I think I went like several hours before I had to put out any more paint, and I think more because, you know, t t things dry. At, you know, acrylics dry; they evaporate and dry. But um, I had, I thought that was kind of nice. So that's someone's going to be winning that. I'm going to show you. We're going to be painting this Martin head um, picture, and um, he he was. If you think Martin head was, uh, we've done a lot of his in the academy, but they're florals. All right. Not not birds. I've never done any of his hummingbirds, but I think they're pretty. I thought this background was really pretty, and um, so we'll have this. Um, this will be in our academy, uh, in the beginner uh, acrylic academy for basic supporters, and up tomorrow, the the reference photos will be there for you guys to see that. And if you look at um, if you look at our canvas. Now this is real canvas. People every once in a while ask this. This is Paramount canvas. It um, comes like that. Whenever we have extra paint, John just paints them with the extra leftover paint. So we have, uh, I'm just going with one of these beiges. But you can, um, I think Jerry's is out of these right now, but you get these at Jerry's Artorama. And when they put them on sale, they're like under 
Four bucks. Yeah, they're four bucks. Yeah, they're really inexpensive, and they're nice. Two dollars a pack. And yeah. the thing about six by eight is how do you can then how much you can use the same uh, ratio to make a what, John? What are the sizes? Uh, what? I'm sorry? How big can you go? Oh, oh, 6 by 8, 9 by 12, 12 mm -hmm. by 16, 18 by 24. Yeah, it's 18, all proportional. All proportional to those. So did you get that? Let's say it again slowly, John. 6 by six 8. 6 by 8. 9, nine by, 12, by 12. 12 by 16. 12 by 16. 18 by 24. 18 to, any of these 6 by paintings can be created and larger. And you up to 36 by 48. Yeah, 36 by 48, too. So, again, we're going to start with this. And So when you look at something this size, like... You see this beautiful background, don't you? Don't you just love this background? And I think we can achieve that with a sea sponge, and over um, a beige background. So that's what um, I'm going to go for now. Is we got a little sea sponge. These are wonderful for better than a regular sponge because they have all these holes and they'll create a pattern. And you want to dampen the sponge, or at least a randomness. And the, yeah, they get a little random and kind of wring it out. So you want a little damp sponge, and then probably I'll take a palette knife. And I'll mix a light, I think I'm going to mix a light color first, or maybe some white and some burnt umber. This is um, zinc white now. Are you going to be using just one of those canvas? What? One of the canvases that yeah, you have Yeah, I'll put, take the other and put it away. There, there, I could have used that too, which is very pretty, but I kind of want to, this would have been a wonderful one to use too, because it's got the red in it already, but, you know, I'll save that. So, all right, so first off, I'll take a little of this sponge. I mix this light color right like that, right? Okay, and I'm just going to come on up here like this and just dab on the sponge like that. See that? It could be a little bit lighter. So what what could I do? Let's take some of this white. Now, I used zinc white. I didn't want to use, which is a more of a transparent white. I didn't want to use um, just titanium right off, right? So here's our next level. There you go. Okay, so I wanted to start with that. I can always, yeah, that's pretty good here. That's kind of working the way I want it, like this. Uh, Whose zinc white are you using? I'm using the golden zinc okay. white. Okay. So, uh, but mixing white would work too. It's a transparent white. Um, well, even all right. Salvador white would probably work in this the kit. The Salvador too. white would work good in the kit too. That would work good. Now, um, I'm just going to change um, sponges, and um, I want something a little darker uh, over that. So again, uh, just in a few places. So I'm, I'm trying to decide if I have to dry it or not. Here's a little burnt umber, like that. There's a little bit of burnt umber, and here's a little bit of magenta and burnt umber. And let's see what we get there. That's pretty dark, isn't it? Magenta and burnt umber. That's pretty good. And uh, let's just kind of do that to get kind of a funny edge to the sponge. And let's come on up here. And that's nice. I like that. I like the reddish. Adding the magenta to that gave it a nice um, uh, to me kind of a nice uh, contrasting color. Okay. So then we've got that. Now let's take um. Let's just take burnt umber here all by itself. Just kind of turn the sponge over a little bit. Now, because this is uh, wet, um, if I want to do much of anything else, I almost have to let that dry. I might get away with a little green. Um, oh, you're going to be, that's risky. <laughs> let's see, can I get away with a little green here? Because I mix that with the brown. Let's see, can I? Because I know I want a little green in here, and of course the birds are going to be in there too. So I have to be, you know. The birds. The birds will be in there. All right. So let me just take a moment and dry that, and I can do that by showing you. Let me just show you some of the other stuff Martin Head that we have from Martin Head, because I think that that's important. You want to see what else? Because he normally was not a big. Um, well, I guess he did. He went to South America and he did all kinds of, of exotic hummingbirds in South America, which is interesting. But this is these are some of the tutorials we have in the academy from Martin Head. And he was, you know, magnolias on velvet. Um, let's move this out of the way. and you'll, The other two are long and narrow. They're going to go this way, John. You probably have to back out a little more, right? And I love this. The... Um, 
Cherokee roses in the um, uh, the salamander vase in the Cherokee roses. That's one of one of our most popular tutorials in the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. It's an advanced painting, but I love that. And again, Martin Head. Um, here's another one. He did Cherokee roses with the uh, velvet throw, gold velvet throw. Another one of the super Academy lessons. We have a few more, but this will give you just the idea of what we do have from him. And um, and good and good to know. Yes and yes. Absolutely. So I'm I think I'm going to have to take a hair dryer to this uh, one. I'm pretty sure. Um, let me just um, paperweight some stuff down so it doesn't blow away. Okay. All right. Because you see how wet and shiny that is. Let me just dry that real quick. All right. All right. We'll mute you. All right. While she's been doing that drying, our auction is still open right now. It's open from the paintings that we did on Friday that um, you can still bid on them at gingercookauction.com. Most of them will be ending in the early evening tomorrow, Tuesday evening, Central Time, around 6, 7 o'clock. Again, that's Ginger Cook Auction, and she will show you some of those fine paintings that we did in a seven-hour marathon with an extra two hours afterwards because we just felt like we could do it. Yeah, th that was so fun, you guys, and um, a little tiring, but definitely fun. Kind of flatten this out a little bit. I'm just using burnt umber here now, and let me just take a, a rag and kind of wring this sponge out so it's not so um, damp. Now I'm going to uh, come up here like this with the darker color. You see what that did? You know, when you're doing a sponge painting, layer it, and uh, surprisingly... Um, Sponges use up a lot of paint. You Ginger wouldn't... is so beautiful tonight. Well, thank you. All well, right. Oh, you're beautiful every day, in my book. Oh. All right. Let's try. I I think that's pretty good. I mean, he went darker in his, but I think you know acrylics dry darker. I just think that's kind of, that's pretty good right there, you guys. Oh, you like Ginger's new uh, brush holder? Somebody just noticed that. Yeah. It's something it, well, we're evaluating before we put it in yeah, the Well, I, when I would put things here, they'd fall over into the paint. You guys must have seen that any number of times. <laughs> and this is meant for kitchens. But I thought, this is great because the brush... Yeah, I, I, she goes, I got this for you. And then I took it. And I didn't even get to play with it. No, I mean, it is kind of cool, isn't it? I mean, it is, I think. She right? scarfed it. I did scarf it. Let's see if we got a little bit more of the white. Here we go. I want to go a little bit lighter up here. Up in here like that. A little bit lighter up in this corner. It's a nice looking background. Yeah, it's a nice looking background. And you, you know, that's another thing you could do with your leftover paint is to just uh, play with a sponge, right? Maybe do a few and, and make some backgrounds. Just let them really dry. So that's kind of what I've got there. So um, I, I feel like that's fine. Um, while that's drying, I'll show you some of the... I'm going to just put a... My, my hands got all dirty. Let's put a tub of towels here. Gee, and I'll show you going. some of the auction pieces. What it, if, now, the thing we thought was really nice is we've... Um, ex, you know, the auction doesn't end. And it, all the pictures don't end at the same time. One actually ended early by mistake. It ended earlier than like the first day. But they are all end at some time tomorrow. It says on yeah. there when they end. So, um, yeah, it should be about 24 hours from now. It'll, it'll end, but let me just give you an idea of how nice the, um, let me just show you what, a, let's take a little frame here and just show you. Here's the, um, here's, these have been varnished. Here's our feathered friends. See how the varnish brings out the, the colors? Yeah. And this is the new one that you haven't seen, you guys. This is the new one. This is our, um, that was the lady, lady in the snow. Lady Cardinal in the snow, yeah. right? And and um, I really, really love that one. I think that's just so cool. And let's see, I want. That's a great little lesson too. Yeah, and then and then of course we have. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops! I'm just hang on a second. Bear with me. No pun intended. Here, this is our other cardinal, Christmas cardinal. And well, you see again, really look at how the red. reds pop when <laughs> really you varnish, with right? That varnish, didn't it? You see, they varnish. All right. And then, of course, we have the pony, uh, the white mountain pony, that our white pony. 
and I think all the others are horizontal. Like this yeah, stuff. you only had four. Four verticals, and so yeah. I'm going to turn it turn it this way now. Yeah. Oh, I would turn it the other way. Isn't that interesting? Why? You yeah. turned it counterclockwise. I would have gone clockwise. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So this. I wonder this what is that a, means. Probably something significant, like like a, probably an IQ test, and I did it right. You know that kind of thing. You think? <laughs> All right. This was a so turn out. This is artist in the rain. This was probably. I love that one. This is kind of cool. Um, I just think this really expresses how kind of this year has been going for a lot of us. We just need a little hope out there, right? And of course, if you like color, um, again we have our our colorful birds in the snow. This is the two, the male and female cardinal. There's that one, which is I think really neat. Um, this one actually sold. This one closed out early, so that one's no longer available. But we do have the covered bridge still. Yeah, all is, the other ones are still available. You know, everything else is still available and won't close till tomorrow. Now, this other new one, which is I, uh, Columbines. This is one we did a full-length tutorial on, the Columbines. And um, it's a, a portrait of Columbines. And, you know, they're the flower of Colorado. You know, uh, it's their national, that's their flower. And who doesn't love our upside down? Who doesn't love our love our Highland guy. cow? Look him, at that! Isn't he cute? I mean, it's just I really. Think I think him's adorable. And then, uh, one of the things I do research on is what are the colors? You know, what are this year's colors? What are what are decorators using? This particular one with the yellow background and the poppies is um, kind of what's really in right now. This, this, um, that colors, those yeah. colors, and people are getting stuff like that. And again, these would be this would be stunning, huge, you guys. You did this bigger, this would be a marvelous wall piece for somewhere, right? So, think about that. And, um, we did, if you didn't read our newsletter, if you haven't read our newsletter, um, in it, I give you five tips on how to, make a few bucks. On how to sell your paintings. and. Um, and make a few dollars, particularly uh, even if you just need to get your art supplies back, uh, you know, keep paying for art supplies. And it, a lot of people are still out of work or they haven't got any checks in yet. Stuff's happened. So um, you can't make prints of our stuff, but if you want to paint, paint it one off at a time and sell them, and, um, I, I, uh, be sure to read our newsletter because I tell you the secrets to how to sell things, which is they're important. And um, this was has been so far... One of our most popular. This is the daisies on the white picket fence. Yeah, this looks like a Tom Sawyer scene. It it is, and and if I take, I want to take some of these others out so that you see how nicely it fits in there. Look at, look at that. Look at how nice it looks in a little gold frame, a little frame with a little bit of gold in it. I mean, that's really trim. cute, isn't it? And um, I I mean I th think that was serendipitously happy painting. And then lastly, we have our. Uh, this makes a wonderful. Um, uh, Christmas card, I think, you know, just does this, you know, very nice holiday greeting card. I don't even want to say Christmas, just sort of seasonal greeting card. Um, and again, uh, that's been very well received in our auction. So it's gingercookauction.com. Check it out, right? Between now and tomorrow. Yeah. Then we'll be having our next full-fledged real auction will start November 1st. We got the paintings already selected for that and we'll introduce some of those next week's show. And I've got some, and, yeah, I've got some great stuff to show you. So, um, let's see. I think I'm going to use yellow maybe. I would have gone with yellow. I'm going to use yellow for the Sorrel transfer paper. Let's make sure it works. See, everything's right here where I need it. That's so clever, isn't it? <laughs> yes. And uh, look, it's not rolling off anywhere. I mean, it took me a while to figure that out, but <laughs> just. Now, those frames are no longer available from Jerry's, are they? No, but, you know, there's other six you gotta look frames. Around. You have to look around. You'll have to start hunting frames. Yeah, we, we have not been able to find those. Well, the thing is that Jerry's was getting a lot of their um, frames made in China. And they have not been able to import as many things as they were before, simply because of I, I love think, the, the magnolia painting. I wish it was a tutorial. Which one? The magnolia. Is it that a tutorial? If they're all tutorials, honey. They're the, all those magnolias are tutorials yeah. in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. Just join. They're tutorials, absolutely. 
The newsletter is posted on the, on the Academy website, the Senior Academy website, yes. Just click on the newsletter link, and it'll take you right there. And there's a link also right on the home page now because we've gone to simple button so you can find things quick and easy, and off you will go. Will the marathon painting be shown on Facebook or not? No. Not the marathon paintings. No. No. All right. So um, let's make sure that it's um, still working. Still working. It's working. I'm excited. Now, when here's the thing. When you're doing something like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is an important question. I know you want to say this, but can we make copies to create Christmas cards, or do we have to still paint each one individually? Copies for Christmas cards are Copy okay. Christmas cards are an acceptable printing format. Yeah. I mean, you. when you have a thousand friends, we don't want you to sit there and paint a thousand. Yeah, and turn around and find them for sale on Amazon or something, yeah. right? If, if you're sending them out to people, fine. Not turn around and make prints and then sell them. We're not such a big fan of, okay? All right. All All right. right. So go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you. All right. Now, you see I'm going, I'm going not just drawing around it. I'm kind of going back and forth with the pen, pushing pretty hard. You're kind of um, sketching it in. Yeah, uh, to make sure that it's, it's, um, it, it's getting, because this is pretty light. Our goal, <laughs> as we often have, is to offer a newsletter bi-monthly. That means twice a month, for those that don't understand bi-monthly. Well, not everybody has this as their first language either. No, that's why I, I said it. Um, if you're painting this, get the oval right. Are the azaleas available for downloadable yet? Um, mm. Azaleas. I don't think so. What, what azaleas? The azaleas, I think, with the waterfall. Oh, yeah, not yet. I, I don't, don't think, think they're over there yet. Now, this is interesting. When you actually draw this out, it look round at the bottom, but it comes down to like a little point at the bottom. Isn't that interesting? Yes, how it wedges into the two I've branches. actually never seen a hummingbird nest. Everybody builds oh, houses. Oh, teeny tiny. Everybody builds houses for them. You know what I mean? So I've never seen one. So I have no idea. But um, Ginger, did John wait on you hand and foot the day after the marathon? Yeah, he always does, though. I do that every day. John's I don't need no stinking marathon. John just does everything. I take care of the queen. He does. How did we do here? Did we get this on here? Well, I I would say we were... Thank you, Sal. She likes the new page format. Yeah, I would say we're... What we want to do in our um, in our newsletters, you guys, what we really want... Our goal is to make it really so, you know interesting, like we had that article on how to sell paintings, but we're going to put like a little blog from me about something that... Her or me, because I'm doing next week. Yeah, John. Yeah, month, something. Next time. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try to make them pack full of information that you just want to keep and maybe put in a folder somewhere, and you, so you can refer back to. You know, crop it, crop it, and put somewhere things that you want to keep. All right. So there's our um, our birds. Now, speaking of newsletters, if you happen to be a person that your email had bounced three times, you have been removed from the system. Just keep that in mind. If you're not getting an email, you check for it in the spam. Search for Ginger Cook Live at gingercooklive.com or possibly re-register. Yeah, yeah, you may have to. All right, so what do we know for sure? Um, they go out in your email, and then they get posted on the website. So you can always catch them on the website after they go out. Um, we're going to uh, put a little bit of the... Burnt umber out again. And, um, it's like all brown so far. Yeah, it's all in browns and grays, <laughs> and there's like this sort of greenish yellow color in those birds. And um, a little bit of the ultramarine blue. Let's see, what have we got here? Was this ultramarine blue? Hey, we had blue? a donation come in through PayPal from Clarice. Thank you very much for that. We do certainly appreciate it. Yeah, um, we really do. We, we've watched a lot of. Um, artists and um, you know different youtubers and they'll sit there and say help keep the show going and we don't ever say that but you do help the show keep going so we thank you you help us keep going so we thank you it's very it's very nice and you help others too your generosity helps others too so you know it's all it's all a big circle 
John, will ginger be using the metallic from Artis paints? Yes, I have uh, some selected for Yeah, he's for got her. some out here for me, the Artis metallics for these. I want to try something, though. Um, she has something else I've in got, mind. I had something else in mind. I wanted to try, this is the golden gesso that everybody bought a lot of last year, remember? And you got this giant jar, and you paid all that money for it. You're thinking, now what do I do with it, right? It'll be, I'll have it till I'm 100. But let's just, I'm just taking a little, and I want to paint this part. I just want to put a little of this gold over this part of the bird. Like that. Those paints, the um, Arteza, Arteza, they're a translucent. So it's just something you have to keep in mind that they're going to, you know, it's, they got to go on something lighter if you want them to show up or, you know, just keep it in mind, they are a translucent type paint. I just felt like on the, on his head and the back of his body here that it wouldn't hurt to just do a little bit of this gold gesso first, you know, just a thought, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's the only place I'm putting it. Um, so, um, and I don't know if it makes any difference. We're, we'll do the experiment together. What do you guys think? I think it's great. We, we don't know, but we'll try it. I did get that lead on right, John, by the way. It's on very poorly. And I know you hate that. I guess I'm going to have to come over there and fix that. You don't have to fix it right now. Just know that that's what it is. Okay, that's all. Just know that that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. So once you know that, then you can move on. Um, I think my paper towels fell on the floor. They're no longer available. What happened? I have no towels. There's rocks on the floor. Do I need to come over? Yeah, you do. If they're on the floor. I know it. You still need to come over. Um, See, I okay. knew I had to come over anyways because I had to fix the jar. Yeah, okay, so I can put this pen away now because I don't need that. Now, let's see what else we got. We want to, I want to do something kind of dark on this. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of the burnt umber bl ultramarine blue and that uh, magenta color. And I want to do something kind of dark here on the, um, uh, on the bird's nest. Oh, real close. I wasn't close at all, was I? No. He's laughing, but I, I know I wasn't. But all right, so I'm gonna paint that in like that, and um, okay. And then I'm gonna take some ultramarine blue and burn umber, and I want to do the. Uh, let's see. I want this a little darker here. This underside. Maybe this little branch. There's some cute little branches. I can be letting that gold stuff dry. Because you know, there's some very cute little branches that are kind of come out here like this. All right, let's see, it's, it's got a nice branch. It's funny, I was looking at this nest and realized that I had really just never seen uh, a nest like this. And maybe they're just in South America, which is why I haven't seen them. I wonder if anybody else in our audience has ever seen a nest like this. It's so different to me. It just um, was so different. Yes and yes. I think it's a good idea. So now what happens is now I've got titanium here and this is still the zinc white. So I'm just I've got some dirt on my brush. I mean when I say dirt I mean it's um it's just whatever paint was on there plus the zinc white. And if I were to do this and tap it, tap the brush a little bit, just kind of like that. Not too far. Keep all this dark under here. There's a little bit of this. But um, just a little tiny bit of contrast, but not that much. And I'm just using the point here, and I'm going to do, do this. Tap that on there, and then there's a little bit of the blue. I'm going to go into titanium now, make this kind of light gray color. And there's a little bit of that 
up here. And um, I think I think I'm going to put that on the inside of the bird's nest right here, just that color in here like that. I want that lighter in there like that. We'll start with that. Um, so we're not going to leave it like that, but that's a good place to start it. Then I know I want it a little bit darker in here. A little titanium, lighten this up. It's pretty light in here like that. Comes this way. Comes across that oval like that. And let's see what else can we where else what other colors can we do? Um, well, we've got a little bit of burnt sienna and white. That would be titanium. And um he was big on tapping. I mean, he's got a lot of little tapping business going on here. This light is all tapping. How do you think he originally did the background? It was probably tapped in, wasn't it? Yeah, probably some sort of tapping. Yeah, we just used a sponge. Um, I'm not saying he couldn't have used a sponge, because they certainly had sea sponges in those days. That's what everybody used. They didn't have <laughs> Everybody used them, right? Absolutely. So, um... A little bit of light right there next to the and this little bit of um, you know I'm just again tapping in the highlights with the with the um, brush I'm not drawing it in I'm just using the edge of the brush and tapping that in just tapping along yeah you know, just tapping along and you're getting kind of some neat um, I don't know, I think kind of some neat stuff there. Um, so let's see, what else we got? Um, let's take a little bit of white with that magenta. Okay. And let's do a little bit of light right here on his tummy. Okay, so that's coming up there. Now we need some pretty reds. How about a light orange? I think we could go for a light orange. Oh, let's do the tummy on this one too, though, as long as we're doing it. The name but, of the original artist on this is Martin Head. Martin Head. American artist. We do a lot of his, well, I'm going to say more of his still life. Yeah, we just, yeah, we've done more of his still lifes. Than any of this kind of thing, but, but we um, found this and I thought just this was pretty. I thought this was pretty, you know. Um, I, I I thought that you, you know all things. Um, take a little white here in this basket here. I just thought that was. I thought it was a pretty, pretty. Very unusual painting. I guess that's what I liked about it. It was unusual. Uh, uh, just different, um, probably, you know, made you think about um, a little bit of yellow. Let's see if I get a good color here. Nope, none of those colors are what I want. So that's okay. Don't want any of those. All right, move, move. Did I put the orange out? I didn't, did I? No, started to and didn't. Okay, and let's do something else a little bit redder. Let's try this one. All right, between those two, we ought to be okay. So let's start with the. Let's get a yellow. It's going to take a while for this to show up. Does that make sense? In other words, right now you can't see anything, and you, you've got to work on the contrast um, a if lot. You, if you start building it. Yeah, this needs to be, so here's this light kind of yellow color right here. There's a little bit of that here. Okay. And there's a tiny little bit up here around his head. So again, we're just going to take a little bit of titanium white and say, make a light orange. What level of difficulty would you say this painting is? How many cookies would you give this oh, one? Oh, I'd give it a one cookie. This isn't really very hard. You're sponging in the background. 
you just have to think about the shapes, right? You, you can kind of trace it in, so there really isn't much to this, yeah? And um, when you think about it, right? There just, there just isn't. There's just, uh, and again, everything's layered. Does that make sense? You're layering everything. All right, so let's see. How am I doing here with the layers? Another layer of the light here. Do you see that? In here. Coming around like that. Just showing a little bit of that. Now, um, if I take a little bit. Now, remember how you made these colors, because that'll, that'll help you, right? For instance, I know that under here, under this nest, it needs to be lighter, right? So I can do that. I can add a little bit of light using just the side of my brush and imitating those sponge movements, right? I can go ahead and lighten something if it needs to happen. Yeah? And the same thing back around this bird right here. I can, again, once I've got the background, I can go ahead and you see how I'm able to kind of imitate the, the background a little bit. I know I want it a little bit lighter right here by the nest. That's just burnt sienna and, and white. So um, keep in mind that, you know, the old adage, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you know that something has to be lighter, don't be afraid to, to add it. Yes and yes? All right, now. So, uh, let's try a smaller brush here. They're all happily, happily here, yeah? So, the one thing I, I saw that he did was he sort of outlined a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and, um, using this brush, a little bit of... Just make that go to a little bit more of a point. I'm going to outline this on the back, on the back side. He didn't do it on the front side, but he did it on the back side. And then here's the back of his head right here. A little bit of burnt, um, uh, that by um, magenta and ultramarine blue, I think. It's the color I want up here on the back of his head. I see someone's having problems signing up for the newsletter. If you do have a problem with that, use the, one of the contact us forms. And let me just know what email you're trying to sign up with, and I will manually put you in. I'm you know, just putting a little yellow in here. Make it kind of greenish right down in here like that. All right, let's take a little bit of this burnt umber color and um, wipe most of it off the tip of this brush. Okay, so I go back into the yellow here. Just, let's see, I'm, you notice I'm just using a paper towel to kind of blot my brush, right? Um, Okay, so I don't like that, so I'm just going to pull, push that up. All right, let's try yellow again. See, let's put that yellow out again, because I'm not liking what I'm seeing in there. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I think I'm going for in here like this. Next to this bird right here, I'm just tapping in with a tiny brush, just little dots of yellow that are just sort of... Okay. 
And um, I want some of that on here too, but not, not quite yet. All right, so um, let's do a little dark brown, a little ultramarine blue. And what we know is that right about the middle of this um, um, uh, bird nest, right about right about the middle is where that the arch comes up here, like this, and the little eye is going up sideways. Kind of like a little grain of rice on its side, okay. And uh, okay, and let's see. And there's a little bit of um, white here on his front. Sometimes I'll put. There's a tip. Sometimes I'll put paint on the brush, then wipe it off, and then reload it. And that way I have a little more paint than you'd think. I just, that's one of the little tricks. There's going to be an October-November challenge. we do one, it'll run through November. You're getting the holiday season and everything. People get busy, and we got busy, so I'm not sure what we're going to do for December. December we may not even have one. We'll see. You guys have lots to do already. Well, you'll notice how his throat kind of comes up, and um, let's take yellow and red, make a really bright orange. I think that there, there we go. Well, that's what he titled this: two ruby-throated birds, hummingbirds. Yeah. And uh, one of the things you want to do is kind of, when you're using a brush like this, roll it. Okay. Wendy would like to tell you this is looking really looking great. Think so? Cool. It's only beginning. Yeah, well you can see they can kind of adjust the body, but you just gotta um uh, let's see, I want a little green in there. There was this sort of green um, bit to the background in here like this. We'll just tap on a few little bits of green stuff. I, mean, I tried to put it in before, but this is where you really see it. And there was just um, a little bit of green. And then there's this really cute, as opposed to, well, they're all cute, but there's this little cute dark leaf right a uh, little wing right here that's right behind his neck comes out like that like there you go little wing kind of comes out to more of a point like that there you go and then we've got a dark we've got a dark wing here that comes this way And then you've got some dark, dark little feathery things kind of sticking out of the back of this. It was interesting how, I mean, this is the strangest, you know, to me there, it's very interesting how he painted it. And, uh, and I'm just kind of following along. It's just interesting. I almost would be tempted to Google these, um, these birds. And, um, look at what they really look like. Just a thought, but um, OK. 
Okay, there's his little head. So we're getting that, right? And, um, all right, so, um, where are you with your little yellow eye? Okay, so while that's doing that, as opposed to doing something else, let's get out and let's work on the, we'll be letting these guys dry before we add any more to them. Let's work on the baskets. So I want some light yellow and white. And, um, put some burnt umber with that. And I don't like that. So never mind, moving on. Let's try some black out of the kit. Let's get a little black going here. All right, we usually don't use that, but in this case, I feel like we need it. So we need some light yellow, some black, and a tiny bit of white, and that's the that's how we make this color. Okay, a little more white in that. Just tap on this swirly nest. And it's not the whole thing, it's just the front, the front, uh, there's about a, the, the, the bottom half, say, from, if this were a clock, from, a, say, 6 o'clock to about, what is that, 6, seven, probably 8 o'clock, it's still dark, and you see a little of this color over there, but it's not going to be that bright, and then just up into here. It's that, and then it's got a little bit of this sort of peach color. And now I'm not trying to get too particular. Let's take a little of this dark black color too. Whoops, too much paint. Let's just tap this along the back of this. And um, a little bit of that dark color. Now, what I want is the light yellow. I may have to dry that black because I have to go over it with something else in white. It may not let me do it while it's still wet. We'll see. Yeah, it did kind of. There you go. There's the mouth of that. Now, this is a very strange little bird's nest. I'm just not saying it's not totally accurate because I've never seen one. No idea. So I'm just, <laughs> just doing what... You know, just trying to follow along here. Okay, let's just get rid of the... John, how's the puzzle coming? We have no puzzle currently running at this time. We finished the second one, and we're taking a breather through, probably through the holidays. Okay. Reorganize the first of the year. A little bit of brown. We have too much stuff we want to get done that really needs to be done. But we had fun with that, and I think we got a lot done during the, um, you know, as far as I think it took people a long ways, didn't it, John, don't you think? Now, remember, we're going to be giving away tonight. I'll just stop for those of you who have joined us late, right, because this is going to sit here for a minute. We're tonight, not giving away the birds. We're, get, we're giving away tonight some holiday uh, original pieces from me. And back, back when we first started out, we also had a bunch of kids in our group. And that's so that's who, that was our target market. That was our target market was kids with Mark Kessler. So this was um, our, our holiday haunted house. And um, whoever wins this, I'll put your name in the house here if you tell if us. If you want or tell us what you want. If you want, want it or you there. can leave it. And then we have this one, which is part of our, it's just a, a quick example of our pumpkin patch kids. That uh, we have whole tutorials with all of them doing things. But that was just like an individual one. Tonight we're giving away that one, and also this was a tutorial we did on YouTube some time ago with the birds. I felt it was kind of the blackbirds. It was pretty uh, Halloweeny, but it is. I think it's kind of a neat picture. And let me show you how nice that would look um, if you framed it. Uh, let me just show you. This is kind of see. It's kind of a neat picture. So anyhow, uh, those are the three we're going to be giving away tonight, and uh, for the holidays. And I um, uh, want to again remind everyone that um, the auction is uh, still
still going on through tomorrow. Let's go over those again. Should we show them one more time, John? Yeah. For those yeah. of you who came left. So this was a, one of our most uh, popular. These are the ones that we did during the marathon. They're still marathon. up for auction at gentrecookauction.com through tomorrow early evening. Which is October 20th. 20th. Uh, for those who might be watching this later. So, like, if you watch this on Wednesday, these would be gone. Yep, it's all over. If you watch it on the 21st, then it, it would be gone. And this, yeah, so then here's our um, our Highland cow. Love that cow. And this is one you guys have not seen. If you just, we didn't we didn't get a chance around to do this in the auction, but I did it the day, next day, and I'll have a tutorial on that available for basic supporters, a step-by-step -step hour tutorial, I think an hour, 20 minutes or something like that on doing this one. And it will be available for our basic supporters and up. And the Academy eventually will release that. Not sure when, but you guys will get that. Here's our uh, Autumn Bridge. This one, the auction closed very soon on that the first day. That was sort of a special, that closed. That's no longer available. We have our Cardinals in the Snow. I just I really love this one. I like the purple tones in this. This was really fun. And if you haven't seen... Um, if you ha didn't have a chance to really see what we were painting here, probably one of the favorites. People said that this is the one they felt they liked the best of all of them was this uh, artist umbrella. And I think it, it really reminds me of, if you remember, we did the uh, Foggy Bridge during the Quarantine Quickies. We did that Foggy Bridge, yeah. and it was so popular. And um, I think um, Kim and I were talking. We thought you could take Foggy Bridge, maybe put a person walking on the bridge with an umbrella like that too from behind might be fun. Um, I can think of a lot of things you could do with that. Uh, well, we, we're going to switch over now to these ones. And um, these were, oh, first off, I'm going to say these, this was probably has been in the auction site. This has gotten the, 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 most, the most attention. This yeah. is called uh, the uh, picket fence and uh, Yellow flowers on a picket fence, and that that was a, that's really a cool one. We've got speaking of cool ones, this is nice and cold and cool. Our our, our mountain cabin, which we think is neat. And then if you are ready for um, uh, the horses, this is our uh, white mountain pony, which I think is, I love I love the fact he's all these different colors. And then you've got your um, uh, Christmas uh, Cardinal, and uh, look how nice these two go together. Well, yeah, it has a boy and a girl. So if you if you had that, if you own these, it would be nice to own both of them, wouldn't it? If you got the one, look, they they make a great uh, pair, don't they? Uh, paintings that very very much go together, I think. And then um, there's our pony, and then of course our feathered friends, and all these have been varnished. This is why the colors are so popping on these. Our feathered friends, which are egrets. So that's the lineup for the auction. There's stuff again. The auction's closing tomorrow night. Gingercookauction.com. Is the blackbird painting that you showed that's being given away today? Is that still on YouTube? It might be. I don't sure. know. It very well might be. I don't remember taking it down, but it was a YouTube lesson. Now we we are not giving away the birds tonight. We're giving away the three holiday. Items. Yeah. As well as, well as well as a Salvador paint kit. And a Salvador paint kit. So we're going to keep working on the birds. I'm going to, people asked if we were going to use any of this. These see, someone gave us these. These are Arteza um, iridescent paints. And I like this, this green, this kind of yellow green one. Let's see what that would look like. Um, uh, because I feel like um, that's, that's kind of cool. Let's see, does that... What is this? Is that some water? Okay. Here's the, um, let's see what that looks like. It, does that, ooh, that's that kind of cool. That's pretty good, yeah. Um, th it's I consider those a specialty paint. Yeah, they're specialty paints, these iridescent ones. They're definitely specialty paints. Um, was there any reds in there? Did you have any reds? There was a set oh of reds. Oh, my goodness, my queen. You I, I think them. the reds Of course there is, my sweetness. Thank you. So... Sounds sincere when he says that too, doesn't he? So let's take a little of that and the brown together and see what we get. Hey, 
no falling and out. You'll notice I'm just tapping in this dark color here on back on these. I think one of these might be just what you're looking for. Yeah, okay, so something more in the, you got something bright red in the oranges? In the orange? This would be pretty, for this pink would be pretty for the, um, for this guy over here. That pink would be nice. Oh, I have a pearl hot pink. Pearl hot pink. Is that a, well, I want something for the reds. There is no reds. That we didn't get any reds? Raspberry. It's the reddest thing we have. And it's not very red. It's not red enough. Okay. Well, we had to ask, right? You did. We had to and ask. And I had to answer, because you asked. So, but that's not to say that we can't get out the crazy Holbein's with the bright colors. Because <laughs> we know those, right? Yep. How about uh, cadmium orange? Let's see, is that... I knew that would be happening. How about cadmium orange and the Holbein's? Because uh, you guys, you know we have to have that stuff, right? Now look. These birds are nothing if not colorful. Yes and yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And then I want to. I still want a dark, just kind of a dark red here. Um, take a little bit of the, that magenta color. Do we have any of that? Where'd that go? Here. I want something dark, like along here, like that. There you go. There's a little bit of dark something. That did this on the side. Okay, and then let's take some more of this bright orange. The paintings were dried in 24 hours. Well, I guess about 36 hours I painted them. I varnished them. Did it yesterday. Late yesterday. All right, so that's nice and bright. And then let's do a little bit of this light right here on this tummy. Okay, just kind of cute. And let's see, you've got this little pink color here. That's pretty. Well, let's let's go for all the toys. You, you know, you get these things, and you you know you think I should use them, but hummingbirds really are iridescent. If you're going to use iridescent colors on something, otherwise you could just use pink. But I'm just Ginger. You know. Would you say that vibrant colors sell more than the muted colors? Um, I'll tell you, no, that's, you'd think so, but no, that more people want to paint vibrant. They sell better as tutorials, but not as paintings for someone's house. My mother, bless her heart, was an, also an artist, my adopted mother, and she did these very dull, boring paintings, everything in browns and beiges, and couldn't keep them in. But, and she explained, if you stay in neutrals, people buy that, okay? Um, because the neutrals will go with anything. The neutrals will go with anything. So neutrals are greens, browns, beiges, black, white, that kind of thing with a hint of red maybe sometimes. So uh, generally speaking, um, anything like that, people it, it goes in their house, okay? But um, when you start getting into colors, then that, for instance, um, orange is a tough sell because most people aren't decorating with orange. So you have to kind of know, that's in our article that I, I posted in the article, um, you have to kind of know what what is selling right now. Yes and yes. This I think we need this pink, pink light pink color. This is called a pearl pink. I'm going for pearl pink, you guys. Uh, ooh, color. I like that. I like the pearl pink. I ooh, I love that pearl pink. Let's let's try that right there. Now the problem I have is that there was water in the brush, and I've got water spots here. Okay, so pearl pink is not going to go well unless it's over white. Yes and yes? Gotta so let's, let's give this um, bird another coat of white. And the same thing up here. Let's make sure that there's some white up here like that around his little chest there. Kind of, you need the contrast, yeah? And uh, like we're, while we're waiting that to dry, we'll just take this. That's titanium white. We're just going to um, uh, let's see, roll the paint off of that and just uh, tap some kind of lighter stuff on here, a little bit of white. Eventually we'll get this to, and then we got a little bit of light up here on this branch.
and uh, Uh, you, you know, I mentioned it before, but when you're trying to do a, a fine line, uh, roll the tip, yes? Reform your brush before you do your stroke. Yeah, then you, when you put it in paint, just roll the tip. The lighter the, um, the, lighter the um, pressure, the thinner the line. So I'm balancing my arm on the edge of this to hold it up, right? So people always say, well, what is a bridge? Bridges are what, you know, a lot of times if you're painting on an easel, then you're you're holding your arm all by itself. So sometimes you'll see me, if you ever see me do an easel one, I'll use my little finger to brace against the, the canvas. I'll put my little finger or my little fingernail. All right. Just so something that helps support the hand. Yeah, you need something to support it. People don't understand that it takes a fairly amount of strength uh, to do thin lines because you again you're not um, you're not um, putting any pressure at some point so you've got to there see how that works wherever there's a light there's a dark kind of thing yes and yes now um, I, I'm enjoying this painting. I hope you guys are too. I think it's sort of fun. I'm going to take a little bit of black and red here and make a brown color. And red Did you here. know that black and red make brown? Yeah, there you go. People don't know that, but it's true. You know black and yellow makes green. So I want to do a little bit of it. He's got something coming out of the side of this. I'm going to change it mine a little bit. little twigs um, he's got all kinds of little twigs and branches coming over the top of this and uh, I guess something has to hold this little nest up, even it's got to be sitting on something. And he's got all these little roots. I don't know if they're coming down out of the nest or they just are part of the the branch that the part little bird put it on. Into. That he hooked it all into. Uh, but there. So you can see where we're, let's get this a little darker back here on his head. The same thing here, make sure we're dark enough. And get this up here like that. Do you remember how you got that mauve color in the background, or what you used for that? This green I used them. Um, Not the green, the, the more the mauve color. Th th this, oh yeah, I added some... Um, uh, the magenta with it, so burnt sienna, and magenta, and, and mixing white. Zinc there you white. go. And it gave it kind of it's that. It's a combination I would definitely think of. Well, I know you don't, but I mean, it was just. <laughs> it just uh, comes to you naturally, though. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, tell them about these brushes. I really like these brushes. I tell you what, I'm always looking for the quintessential round brush. Then, and I love these. Um, these are Ollie's. A-L-I-S. They are in our Amazon store, I think. I love these. Yeah, they are. Um, they and have not, a good um, spring to them. Yeah, they're perfect for acrylics. So, so just, can you, can you... Yeah, can you see, can you feel that? <laughs> well, they do have a spring. They don't, yeah. they flap, and they... Um, they're not real stiff, and they're not real soft. They have a good tensile strength that it, you, you can control them. And they were inexpensive. A set of them is like, I don't know, twenty less than twenty dollars, like fifteen dollars maybe. Yeah. It was reasonable enough. Hey, we'd like to thank Lucinda for the donation that came in through the super chat. Oh, absolutely! Thank you very much, Lucinda. Do you have any questions we can answer for you? 
Sometimes when you do super cats, you get super, you get super. Super attention. Super attention. So what can we answer for you, Linda? Lucinda, what can we do? You're welcome. I love this painting. Hummingbirds weave their nests out of horse hair. So if there were no horses, what would they do? They do donkey hair. So no, just, no, don't. They just, use some kind of hair. Oh. Well, I mean, that's important to know, right? Yeah, they use a very fine, fine weaving technique. What color are you going for now? That is a Salvador Priorly Red, which is really their bright orange. They have good colors, too. I don't, yeah. don't think I just don't think they have good colors. All right, let's come down here like that and put that one in. Yeah, that's nice and bright. The brush right now is what we were just talking about. Yeah, it's a... Uh, let's see where they are. Uh, we like these brushes. A-D-I... Adi, Adi, Adi's. A-D-I apostrophe you, you want me to show here? Got the package? This is part of the package. This is just part of the package, but... The, that came with it, but I'm using the little pointy ones, the Addis, right? Adidas. Okay. Addis. Addis. I like this. These have a nice, nice bristle. Soft but strong. Yeah, huh? Good spring action. Yeah. They would use sheep wool, cow hair, any fluff they can find. Oh, see, we learned something today, John. You know, the day has not been wasted. No, we learned something today. That's cool. That's uh, that's absolutely cool. In Arizona, we leave the the dryer lint out for them, and they also take spider webs. Oh, industrial little guys. Uh, yeah, fifteen ninety nine, according to Judy. That pack. I think there's twelve of them in there. So this is, I mean, come on, this is sort of fun. This takes, there's a, you know, the, the, what takes a little time is the, kind of the detail, but. Hey, we'd like to thank Cindy for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you very much. Oh, Cindy, thank you. Too kind. We well, appreciate we it very much. In. And Connie, thank you very much for your donation as well. And one more. And from Shirley. So that was Illinois. Someone tell me where they are. That one, we had one from Illinois and another one from somewhere else. Already disappeared on me. Another one was Georgia. Cool. Thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, you very much. I like the, how, how, how thin I'm able to get these lines, i got to tell you. Is that the smallest brush they make? Uh, no, there's one that's smaller. I thought there was one more below there's that. There's one below that. That's this one right here. Notice it's right where I can get it. That's this one. Shall we try that one just for ch chuckles? Oh, and, let's and have laugh. a chuckle or two. Chuckles and laugh. Let's see what the little one does. Hmm? You know, I think that Head was a bit of a naturalist. I think that, um, you know how like Audubon was busy painting birds and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Martin Head was a naturalist. I think if there was bird, boot, bird poop on the branch, he was going to tell you and put it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. And I see nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm not saying it's wrong. I just think it's an interesting, I'm just an interesting observation on my part, John. You know, I always like to know what I'm painting, and so when somebody does something like that, it's always interesting. Now, let's see, do we have, um, here's some purple. Let's get some white in this purple color. This right up here on the underneath side of this bird right here. 
John, did you know that spider webs are used to stop the bleeding after a cow is dehorned? I've heard them being used for bleeding, but not specifically on a cow being dehorned. No, I didn't know they dehorned cows. Well, yeah, if you don't want them beating up each other. Really? This is a very educational show. Well, when we, we just went, touch I, on a little bit of everything. When my sister and I went to Alaska, um, we were told that there, there's this moss that grows in the that grows in the trees. Yeah, and um, that uh, you know just that they put it. Uh, you've seen that moss, and they put it in flower arrangements and stuff. That during World War II, that's what they used is because it's 100 percent sterile, and that's what they used for bandages. Before they just stop the bleeding because it will absorb huge amounts of, of its weight in liquid. So they would put that moss on and then do the band aid to stop the bleeding. And American Indians use that for um, diapers for their kids. Now we really. I mean, we are it. really educating now. I'm telling you what, we're, we're just. There's no telling what you can learn on this show. Yes and yes. You never know what comes out. Well, you don't, do you? You don't. And um, I'm just adding a few more dots here because this is sort of fun to paint. This is one of those ones where you put a few darker dots on top. Probably start from some of the lighter aspects of this. And then you go into the, like, for instance, like these little uh, tail pieces, like that, where the dark, darker. And then there's this. Let's take this gold and let's use it in some burnt sienna. Mix that together, that gold color. All right. And let's do. I'm gonna dot that on this little wing here. Okay, fun, yes. Okay, what else can we do? Um, oh yeah, they've got this sort of mossy stuff. Um, could be moss. Coming over the... Kind of growing down here like this off the bird's nest. Like, like Spanish moss. Did you know that's not that Spanish moss that grows in the south. Did you know it's full of buggies? There's little chicker thingy buggies that live in that. Did you know that? John, did you know that? I, I'm What's that? Talking, talking over there to myself. I will. I don't want to interrupt you. But that when there's a question mark, that would, uh, would imply an answer is forthcoming. Yes and yes. But then I have to listen to the question. Oh. Okay. What was the question? Did you know that Spanish moss has little chiggery things in it? Yes. Well, I heard you a little bit on, on healing things with it, yes. Let's put some of this dark over here, too. Let's get some stuff drooping down from this tree. Ginger, Ginger captured the color of the humming nest I have. That's what Julie says. Really? Well, oh, good. You know, that, that's what she thought. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, that's so cool, because I'm just, i got to tell you, um, uh, I'm just, really, at this point, I'm painting shapes. Years ago, Cinnamon and I, when she was in college, we, um, took a, a, a commission, a commission to do these 12, 48 by 60 paintings of a, um, Of, of these guys installing air conditioners and stuff, right? And uh, so much of what we ended up painting was I didn't know what anything was. I just painted shapes. I had no idea what that stuff was. Sometimes all that's all you can do is just paint the shapes and hope that you're getting it, right? I just made it with you and Cinnamon Live. So Cinnamon must be live now too? I don't know if she's live or not. I don't look at her schedule. You don't look at her schedule. We, 
We can barely do our own there. schedule. Are you kidding? We barely get her on the phone. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes. Okay, so there's the. Um, now let's see. We're still doing. We've got this beautiful branch that comes over the top of this. Um, Let's do a little orange and yellow, maybe. And um, Now, that's the thing with these brushes. When you dip them in water, they really hold the water, so you've got to really... Um, you've got to wring them out a little bit. You've got to wring them out before bit. you put any paint in them. Oh, this little one is even more delicate, John. I thought it would be. I thought some of those lines you were doing could have been, been better served with that one. Yeah, it's not so you don't have to to worry so much about um You're getting too fat on you. Yeah. That's nice. So it's 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 interesting. There's just there's definitely there's definitely uh, uh, and then this this is a big log that comes down here. Kind of in the background. So let's see how we did now. Let's let's take a look at our picture. Okay. And take a look here. And uh, we're pretty close. Yeah. We're not you bad. Have, you have a little more contrast than he did. His was very muted. A little Which bit. Which could the, be, well, it could be the time, you know, fading with time or whatever. Or he just kept it that fashion. Yeah. So um, I wanted to have a little bit more contrast as far as the, you know, underneath here, with underneath the... Um, uh, Where all this is the 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 the, the, the um, nest, so that you had the um, contrast where the background's a little bit lighter, so you can see all those fun little vines that are sticking down. And um, apparently, there's little vines in um, in this little area too. They're just kind of up in here like that. Um, And they're just sort of disappearing here. So that's kind of neat, right? I would say we were very close to being uh, finished with this. I'm going to try some more of our um, iridescent paint, though. I think that's kind of, don't you guys think the iridescent paint kind of is fun? Where'd that silver stuff go here? What else have I got? Oh yeah, as long as we're being crazy, right? This is called pearl white. Let's grab some of this. Put it right there on him. Her. Him. I think him's in the front. Or is in the back. I think that's pretty, I think that's kind of neat, right? Put a little pearl white in the in the nest. A little bit on there. Oh, that's fun. I'm I'm having great <laughs> I'm having fun with this. What else you got here? This is Artesia. You need the whole set. This is Tangerine Orange. Ooh, you're pretty. Yes and yes. I love that Tangerine Orange. That was what was missing here for sure. Yeah. 
for sure a little bit of that color in a few places. And in, in his picture, now in fairness, in his picture, he had where this branch was, it was a little bit lighter. Remember the trick about load your brush twice. It was a little bit lighter under here where this branch was. Then you could, because you couldn't see it before, yeah? So look, if you lose something like a branch, not that, you know, if you lose a branch, uh, put it back. Come back with a lighter color, and um, you know how to do that, right? And put it back, and like, for instance, right here, if you want this to show up a bit more, like when really that beak needed to be, it needed to be lighter where that beak is. Let's just lighten this up and then put the beak back in again, because that's this is a ex classic example of wherever there's a light there's a dark yes and yes and that's what you want to have you know if you want something to show up uh, uh, do that okay same thing here under here I want this to be a little lighter under that beak so you can you can do that. Then we'll take a little of this dark paint here and curve this beak. Through there. There. Same with this guy. This looks like a couple of happy hummingbirds, if you ask me. Do they look pretty happy? They look happy. Yeah, yes and yes. Well, I would say that um, we, we, we sort of got, I think we got what was intended. How's that? I feel like we've got, we painted uh, what he intended. Maybe that's too bold a statement, but I feel like we did. All right, do we have people entering in for the drawings last chance? I believe we do, my queen of mine. So for the nice uh, paintings that we're doing? Let's just see how many people would like to have a little holiday cheer sent their way. We're up to 278. Okay. Okay, so we just... Um, I feel like we random.org for our number generator. Check our count. We'll just go for the first try. Do you want to put little numbers on the back of these so I can keep track of them that one? Sure, one? why don't I um let me um Yeah, well no, no pressure here, McQueen. None. Mm -mm. No, I know. Kick I'm back, just, um... chill, you know, relax. I wanted to make sure that we got um, all the, um, we say we had uh, some green. Did you give me the, the green that was the, um, did there was a green in this uh, shiny stuff? In the Asda? In the, yeah, I want some green. I believe it, I have a green that you might be pleased with. Was there a green? Because I feel like there should be a green here. I have a family of greens. Oh good, he's got greens, you guys. Oh yeah, this is good, look at that. He's got greens. Let's try this green, that's pretty. You're going from the painting on the outside of the tube, it's pretty. Hmm. Going right from the tube, aren't you? Yeah, well there's no point in putting it down there, right? None, none, mm -mm. Just keep that brush clean. Martin Head was the original artist on this particular painting. And once again, Ginger has taken it to the next step. Yeah, Martin Head definitely was the, was the guy that came up with this. He did it first. He did it first, and 
again, he has his own way of um, painting things, which I think is really nice. And it's a little bit of burnt sienna here and then there, just a few little dots of that on here. Has Ginger tried my new green tube of paint yet from Liz? Ginger has not tried the new green tube. Ginger just got back to painting today, and she has not had a fabulous that we, opportunity. We haven't tried that one yet. But would it love didn't to. come up in any of the ones we did, had to finish up. I'm going to try the gold and the black and see what I get. I imagine some kind of a green. Oh, yeah, but I'm getting sort of an interesting gold green right here. Oh, that's kind of a shiny green. Just right next to the that bird so she shows up. I feel like we needed a... Stephanie made a good point there. You still have time to bid on the auction pieces. GingerCookAuction.com until Tuesday. Around 6 p.m. Central Time, do check each item does end at different times. And they will say how soon they will end. Yeah, they would say that, right? So they what do. do we know for sure? We know that we need... Will this painting be in the next auction? Well, you never know. It may. It may end up in the next auction. Absolutely. Um... It's a nice little brush. Isn't it? Because I'm not even having to go... I'll tell you why it's a nice brush, guys. Because I'm not having to go into the flows to make it work. No, it's got enough strength that it can push the heavy bodies around. Yeah, I'm not having to... That's a pretty darn fine line. Oh, it is. I like the feathering you did on the female. That yellow looks really nice. That's not pretty. I think that there's, there's yeah. you know, there's a lot of different ways to. That came out nice. Why did the bidding stop on Japan painting? Because John set the wrong date. We made a mistake. I made a boo boo. I know it's hard to believe. I'm only human. Really, it's one of the stuffy staff. John and Ginger, any travel plans? No. No, we're Not just uh, we're staying year. home. We're staying home. We just I know that sounds we know crazy, we're safe. but we're we are we're investing our time and energy into our schooling for you folks. Yeah, but you know what? We're never bored. <laughs> I'm and, sorry. Um, we're never bored, are we? We always find something to do. Right. Yeah. yeah. We might even take up gardening. We keep threatening every year to just, you know, well, sure maybe be try that. Next year, so. Brand of the sparkly paints. That is the Azteza. Azteza? That's, that's Art, Art, Arteza. 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 Somebody, said, you know, very kindly sent us out of that. We really haven't had a chance to um, use it. But, um, but, but I'll tell you what, you're doing butterflies and hummingbirds. Is that there a translucent paint? This particular set is a translucent, so you just have to keep that in mind that they're going to need to go over something. Yeah, like a white or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, um, I think I think we got it here, you guys. What do you know? Can you move that bottle? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Let's drop my picture now. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you yeah, need me see. to come get it? No, sorry, I'll just, look, I think we, I think we, I think we got them. Yes and yes? Yeah. I like yours better. Uh, I think that's it. I, th I feel like we have, uh, you know, we've gotten out all the toys. <laughs> we've gotten all the yeah. toys out. Yeah, we should be the one who has to put all those away. And um, we've discovered everything, and we could have... Probably done more. Like, for instance, this is sort of a cool color. What's this one? I'm looking at um, this, which is sort of a... Look at that neat color. What color is it? What's it called? It's called... Um, okay, do you need that big of a brush to do what you're about to do that hasn't been in paint yet? Yeah, it's going to go over here on the side. Okay. Well, I guess I could use one of the others so you don't have to drip, drip, wash it. Okay, fine. Um, this is called Deep... Pearl brown. 
A pearl brown? Interesting. Where could I put that? Well, see, see what I mean about that brush being in water? See? The, the fennel just soaks it up like a sieve. This is pearl brown. I don't know if it makes any difference or not. Not that I can really see from us, but you know, you, you there, a little bit. It seems it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It does. Might be good on the... Some of this feathering. It's a little bit of a shimmer. You know, it, I'm sure some of this will look different in the light. You know what I mean? Right. There. I just had to see what it was. Of you course. can see that, right? Absolutely. But absolutely. We had to know what it was. I mean, you have all those choices. I think it that reminds me of this poem from childhood, which goes, A centipede was happy quite, until a frog in fun said, Pray, which leg goes after which? Which set his mind in such a pitch, he lay distracted in a ditch, considering how to run. See? See? And I think sometimes when you get all these colors of paint, you're just going, huh, now what? What should yeah. I pick? What do it I just, do now? Uh, years ago, I was in Singapore, and this is before Cinnamon was born, so it was a long time ago. And uh, I had a girlfriend that sewed, and, she, uh, and I thought I'd bring her back a gift of some fabric, and I uh, went into this one, the guy took us to this one store, and there was a warehouse, really, honestly, the size of the inside of a grocery store, and it was floor-to-ceiling uh, bolts of silk in all different colors and patterns and solid, and um, I was overwhelmed. I couldn't figure out, couldn't make a decision on any of it. We left and said, do you want to buy something? If they'd had, like, 20, maybe I could have picked out something. You know, this but looks... 200. But, but to, to, couldn't know. I think it's probably 1,000. I just didn't know, and I just left. And I think you got to... <laughs> one of the reasons, for the most part, we keep our palette down to very simple is to not get overwhelmed. Because if you keep buying paints and buying colors and stuff, you forget you even have them. You know? So uh, I, I like to keep things simple. Well, this was... Um, this was fun, wasn't it, John? You, I'm going to sign this right now. Okay, so we have three paintings we're doing? We have three paintings we're auctioning off. I want to just put this in a little frame, though, to show you how cute this came out. If I have my frame here, where'd it go? I did not take it. Do you still have it? Behind you, it fell behind you. Uh, well, all right. I wanted to. Sh no, right, all right. Let's sh show the ones we're auctioning and auction. We are. Um, well, that came out good, huh? You guys, don't you think? You brought Julie over. Did you want to show Julie? Yeah, I want to show Julie too. Okay. All right. I just wanted to put our little. Okay, I need numbers the, on the back of those. Yeah. So here's the here's the um, hummingbirds. Who, who. Here's the hummingbirds and how pretty they'll look framed. Oh wait! Not gonna wait! 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 He's backing up. I'm going to back it up, move it over. That does look good in that frame. Doesn't it? Yeah. Isn't that cute? And I'll tell you what, when varnish it, these colors will come out. So anyway, yeah. that's the, that's what I came up with. So that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Now, the first one that uh, is going to find a new home is our blackbirds. And that will be number one, I think. We'll call that number one. Number one. Is the blackbirds. And so All who right. has won this one? And where's my YouTube? Okay, winner of the Blackbirds. And that still yeah. needs the red stripe through it. Okay, that is Liz Carson. Oh, congratulations, Liz. Liz Sorry, Carson, you are the winner of the Blackbirds. Blackbirds. Okay, so now our next one is, let's just move this frame, is going to be the uh, Pumpkin Patch Girl. Uh, and uh, we still need to sign that. So that's number two. Pumpkin Patch Kid. Pumpkin Patch Girl. Okay. I got that one. Winner of the 
pumpkin. This will be number two. All right. Well, so you see, um, lesson six, Pumpkin Girl, was done in uh, 10, 27, 13. Wow. wow. That's when we started. Yeah, that's when we first started, when with Mark Kessler in 2013. So that's that's something. That's a collector's item. That is item. Pat Whitman. Pat Whitman, congratulations. And we're going to call that number two. All right, Pat, congratulations. And... This is our Halloween haunted house. Haunted house. And if someone would like their name, you see the eyes and the trees and everything. Well, I got real around. creative. If if uh, somebody uh, wants their uh, name in there, you'll have to tell us. Uh, we'll put we'll put your name in or write something. Haunted house. Haunted house. House is Debbie Bishop. All right, congratulations, Debbie. So, Debbie, if you are still out there and want something written in there, let us know ASAP, like now. Need to know now, or it won't be ha won't happen. Or it won't happen. You have to put it in yourself. All right, so that's Debbie. Now we also have the uh, Salvador set of Salvador paints. Salvador paint kit. The number for that one is that number there. Well, can you back out quite a bit before I show oh, the paint kit? I want to show the uh, oh, what our lesson for this week for. Um, well, this is a really lesson for last week. Well, this well we didn't get it up last <laughs> week, so this is um, Julie Sonata. Julie Sonata. This is another one of our old uh, dead artists, and um, this is a twenty by twenty canvas, and it's a box of cookies. And it's a we box of cookies with a glass of milk. And we think this is a really, a, you know, we talk about Academy Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. When you get, I'll we'll show you how to grid her in. Um, I love, I love this because it goes with the lady with the guitar. I think this is. We've never done anything like this, and I hope you guys love this as much as you love the guitar lady because I think these make good companion pieces. Very impressionistic. Originally done in the late 1800s. So that's um, our Julie Sonata, and um, again, we have the Salvador paint kit, which is coming courtesy of Salvador, and um, I know you're going to love it. Uh, we certainly have enjoyed it using, look how much paint I've got left too, I mean, I haven't used any. You can do so much with them. They go far. Whoops, I'm sliding down all the little pictures that people have won. So and I've there got you go. the winner for um, that one. Oh, did Debbie, did Debbie out there? Debbie Bishop, did you say anything? Debbie Bishop. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. You guys all picking another number. I don't see Debbie still out there. Okay. So. Okay. And we have a winner of the Salvador, Salvador paint set is Judy Gillum. Judy. Judy, Judy Gillum, and she is from Australia. Australia, all right. Well, Judy, congratulations. That's absolutely cool. Wonderful. So I think that's it. Did we know where the other people were from, or did we mention it? Um, we did not mention it, and I might be able to say. Okay, because I think it's kind of fun. I mean, we've got the three... Um, Australia, we had Rhode Island. And, and scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Holland, Michigan. And Michigan, okay. So I know Holland, used to go over there often. So it's a global sort of thing, isn't it? And Texas. And Texas. All right. So... Look at that. Those are the three uh, paintings that we gave away tonight for the Halloween. Uh, kind of, we thought it might be fun. And, um, and then this was our painting for the night. And again, we'll have the reference photo and the, um, uh, the traceable and the grid will be in Beginners Acrylic Academy, basic supporter or not. But become a basic supporter of us if you like what we do. It's just $4.95 a month. And um, it cancel it. Us. 
and just supports us and it gives you access to extra lessons that we sometimes throw in there plus everything um, all the traceables and grids from 2020 um, are in there. We just started doing that in 2020. So any lessons you've watched the whole year, the reference photos, even the quarantine quickies, which we took off of, we took down from YouTube, they're there. The um, uh, We'll still leave yeah, them. Yeah, even as a basic supporter, you probably yeah. have close to 100 lessons in there now. Yeah, and, <laughs> and also when the auction pieces, you know, the marathon will come down next weekend. But it'll be available for all our academy members, whether you're basic supporters, senior academy, junior academy, all of that. So I think that's kind of nice. So it's, it's, we try to give you a lot for that. And um, and also we appreciate the fact that, look, we realize that a lot of people are out of work right now. Things are tough. And um, But if you if you just share our videos with your friends and if you're doing a painting, share it and say, like, I saw Ginger on YouTube. Put the word out about us. Help us find more more viewers. You guys can do that. It doesn't cost anything. And just word of mouth is the best advertising. And so when you share or put something in a playlist, that really helps us a lot too. And um, we're interested in um, hearing from you tonight whether you, um, you liked our giveaways and whether you thought that was fun. Next week we are going to have uh, three more giveaways in our set. Um, you will just, I think maybe four, I think we're doing four next week. So, oh, you um, have four sitting there, yeah. we might have four, oh, so. Oh, you have a, you have a holiday one in the winter months. Yeah. One of them. Okay. So, thanks very much, you guys, and we'll see you next okay. Monday. Really, will we see them? Well, no. No, everybody says, hey, we'll see you next time. Well, well, well will we, you? Well, you'll hear from us again on Monday. How's that? We hope we hear from you. Leave the comments in the stuff below. Here's love from us to you. Great art hugs from John and I. And have a chuckle on the way out. Bye, everyone. One of the features that is offered on our website for... And let's try again. <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> yes, that alone. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay, then you're, then then you're I said I clicked the thumbnail. Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction um start again <laughs> you think i drank <laughs> all right sorry <laughs> all right here we go another great feature you want to go from the robot again or? yeah try to get that silly robot now one of the great features one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic <laughs> oh, robotic what? Oh yes. Is the robot the option of oh, let me try? <laughs> it's a ro <laughs> what they call it an automatic bidding system. Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic um, To bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. Okay, I don't know how I can't. So close. <laughs> so close. Almost had it. <sighs> God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie be there. With a first oh, we could never afford this. We could afford oh. this. All right, the the budget bid for you, and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but. <laughs> <laughs> By a quarter. But don't worry what? about that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger? Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had hard hugs. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>